What have I done? Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Adam. This is my channel, Mr. B Flips, and we are a UK reseller and we buy stuff with the aid of selling it online to make a profit. If you haven't been to the channel before, thank you very much. And um, today's video is about all of that. Loads and lo loads and loads of media that I picked up a massive job lot um, for free. Um, roughly about three and a half thousand pounds worth. And basically I've taken it and we are shipping it all off to Music Magpie, um, and this video is basically about how much we've made, the process, and how to do it, basically. Um, we'll also touch on some stuff that I picked up as well. Um, I picked up a sort of small gaming bundle uh, from a contact down in the local town, and um, yeah, let's get into the video. So as you can see here, I've started the scanning process. Now, if you're going to use Music Magpie, to me, it's the quickest app. There are other ones like Ziffit and CEX, but I found their, their interface to be quite clunky. Their scan rate is not very good. Um, but with Music Magpie, I find it's very quick, very fluid. Um, just a few pointers. If you've got a massive bundle like this, um, and you want to maximize on the profits what I'm doing is I'm taking out and cherry picking a lot of the stuff that will sell for better money if I sell it myself now obviously with this magnitude of stuff I can't do all of it because I've got nowhere to store it but things like box sets um, or runs of DVDs so for example I pulled out all of these the Born Legacy ones Born Supremacy, etc., etc., because I can sell them as a small bundle. Now, I'm not going to get a lot for them, um, but it, I can get more money selling them myself than I would do selling them through um, Music Magpie. And these didn't get scanned in, they didn't accept them, so I put them to one side. I'll create a bundle for those. Another thing to remember as well, you're going to come across a lot of labels like this. Now the label is right inside on the sleeve. Now if you damage that sleeve too much, they won't accept it anyway. So you'll spend best part of 10 minutes trying to pick that off to scan it to then find out that it's not accepted. Rule of thumb, just put it to one side and move on to the next one. Purely for the fact that this is quantity over quality and the, the way to make quick money doing this is quick and easy. So anything that's not being sort of scanned in, if it's nothing I can bundle, I'm going to literally drop it off to the charity shop um, purely because I haven't got the space to store this magnitude of stock, yeah? Um, and so far I've sent 20 boxes off to Music Magpie. They've all been scanned in. So I'm well into making decent, decent money. All right, so we have scanned in some DVDs, very slim picking today. This is the second run. So this is stuff that didn't scan in the first time, but it's always worth um, giving it another go because Music Magpie's inventory 
levels change day on day. Um, so it's been a week since this lot have been scanned in um, because this was initially rejected because they didn't want it. Um, it's gonna take me a while to get through it all, but it will, um, I'm not I'm not expecting too much in terms of money from this. I may be able to nick another sort of 150 pounds, maybe three boxes, um, but I'm going through and just, like I said, select and cherry pick ones that, you know, you can get runs of or you can box sets and stuff like that because you can make a bit more selling them online. Um, so for example, with this stuff, there is every Walt Disney film going, I'm talking old, new. Um, so I'm basically um, putting them aside because I'll do Walt Disney bundles of DVDs, which will go for good money and they will go quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with that. But what I wanted to show you before, before um, I do is um, the gaming bundle stuff that I picked up. All right, so I picked up this box of gaming stuff. I've got a I've got a contact down in my local town who um, they run a com a computer shop, laptop repair place, um, and they've basically just wanted to get rid of all of their um, their gaming stock. They don't really deal with it. They do more of repairs and stuff. Um, so it's hit and miss what works, what doesn't work. Um, but I've had some great deals from them before. Um, and even selling the stuff, spares and repairs, um, you know, you can make a, a decent a decent profit and it goes quickly, gaming stuff always does. Um, so I haven't tested any of this out just yet. Um, but I will do. I paid 60 for the lot. Um, excuse the rubbish. So as you can see, look, there's, there's spares and bits and pieces in there, which when it comes to bits like this, um, I save them all up um, and then do a spares bundle. Um, and I do all right out of it actually, because people want the little components and the screens and stuff like that. I haven't got time to test everything um or put things together um, and to be honest with you with something like this it's not really worth my time um, so yeah if i can just flip it around quickly and um, there's quite a few little bits like this in there um, this was this works actually i tested this out it's got a little bit of a glitchy button which i'm just going to play around with so it sort of it turns on you have a look at the red dot there it turns on and comes on but the button's a bit temperamental so yeah I'm gonna have a little look at that because that's quite a nice thing either for me I'm gonna keep it um, it is missing its battery compartment which is a real shame um, but I could still get 35 40 pound for this um, once I've got all of this off and give it a good clean um, so yeah Money is safe in that one. Uh, loads of controllers that I need to test out. Um, some of them in better conditions than other. If they're broken, like I said, I'll put them to one side and I do bundles. Uh, this is boxed. This is actually in quite a nice condition. Everything's in there. Um, I'm hoping that works as well. Xboxes now some of them I know for a fact don't work they've got disk problems or whatever but yeah I'll just take any hard drives off um, and I will ship them sort of untested um, or faulty uh, two PlayStation Slims power packs if you ever see them and they work they go really really well I mean I can get about 15 quid for one of these um, yeah loads of controllers but what was the um, what was the best find out of all of this was this. So this was in the bundle. I had it to one side. Um, but I mean, even the case 
even the case is quite cool. Um, it's, the condition's not great, but when I opened it up, this was inside. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six games. And this bad boy. Now it is in seven games actually. It is in lovely condition considering its age. There's a few marks on the screen. Um, but now it turns on. But I don't know if you can see, look, the lights are on, but the screen stays black. Now I've done some research and it looks like it's to do with the capacitors. So I ordered some uh, off eBay, which are quite cheap. I've never done a repair like that before, but I'm gonna give it a go because it is in such nice condition. Now I can get between 100 and 120 pound for this on a good day. So this is where my money rests really. But even as a, as a spares bundle, I'll do all right. So there's still a little bit of meat on the bone. Once I've shipped everything out and I've sold it all, I'm hoping to get through some of that today, get it listed, get it online. But yeah, make contacts with people in shops that you're interested in buying stock from because sometimes you can get some goodies.